Hello Capricorn. Hi you guys. Spiritual Barbie here. Welcome back to the channel. My Capricorn friends, lovers, comrades, you know, you know the deal. This is your love and romance reading. Okay. So it's you and the person who you're thinking about. This is for the week of the 27th. What can we expect for you guys to be experiencing this week in your connection? What are you going to be hearing from this person? So you guys, um, thank you for your likes. Um, and please like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. Also, thank you for sharing this video with people who you know these readings will resonate with. All right, Capricorn. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's have a look at your week with your person. Or what can we? What are we finding about this person this week? Your connection. Okay. So you guys have a um, unhealthy attachment to this person. Okay. And you're recognizing it and healing it. You have unhealthy attachments in love. Both of you guys do. It could be on this person's side, on your side. It's like obsessive. Okay? And it has to do with movement, growth, expansion, how are things moving along. You guys are, like, really attached to moving this connection along and having success and victory. You know, getting the validation that you want in this connection. And all those things that you want are very much deserved, right? But you guys are very much attached to, you know, taking action towards it or the movement of it. And it feels unhealthy. It's been shown here that it's unhealthy. And you guys are um, healing. You're getting your confidence back. And you guys are stepping into your power, your strength, and trusting in things happening. Things are unfolding behind the scenes that you might not fully know or see just yet. You, don't, you definitely don't know or see it yet, but it's coming to fruition. You're going to see it. You guys are walking away from things that don't serve you anymore, all right? You're opening up the doorway to spirit and the doorway to abundance and truth and divinity and abundance, okay? When you guys are choosing to come out of your comfort zone because you don't want to be in there just because you're afraid, afraid of life or fearful of certain things happening anymore. You want to live your life to the fullest, okay? So you guys are, are enjoying and seeing the beautiful life that you created, but you're also wanting to expand it. So you're going to get an expansion soon in your love life. In your life in general okay you're also enjoying a level of abundance that you are i have recently started to experience or feel for yourself so you guys feel a lot of passion for your person for love okay you feel a lot of desire you feel a strong pull to this person but you're also experiencing financial constraints um you're healing though in these financial constraints you're experiencing healing though you guys are stepping into your own healing abilities and your abilities in the world and you guys are taking a look at financial constraints. That's the lack that's here. The, the unhealthy attachment to this person and to the outcome of all that, it comes from um, but, uh, not necessarily that you guys are constrained financially, but you might be fearful of being financially constrained. You might have, um, you know, you might be constantly tied to making decisions because of money or because of a job or something like that. And um, that's, that's something that you're going to be healing. You're going to be getting the confidence to heal. So your person is trusting in their divine guidance, okay? They're trusting in beautiful energy and in, in love. This person loves your happy family. They want a happy family with you. This person is holding abundance. They're very abundant and they have a lot to offer you. This person is getting ready to offer you a lot, okay? Now this person is also communicating with you, getting ready to communicate with you if they haven't already. And this person is welcoming in the angel of love. They believe in love, and they believe that love will um, come to them. Now, this person might have faced some hostilities. They might even come across as hostile sometimes. But this person believes in love and romance, and they believe in the good things that love brings to others and brings to people, okay? So this is somebody who really, truly honors and cherishes themselves and cherishes you. So the attachment here is around holding on to things that you already have. You guys are, are holding on to, um, you know, trying to protect yourself, trying to hold on to the, the little you have as opposed to trying to receive more. A lot of you guys are stuck in your comfort zone as well, and it's because it's due to um, attachments, okay? But you guys are concluding the cycle and coming out of it. You, like I said, you're unearthing it because you're releasing it, okay? So there might be some um, angry feelings coming up, 
in love or when it comes to your family, your legacy, you know, you bringing up, uh, you know, a lack of mobility, a lack of being able to move forward because of someone in your family or because of family. You're realizing how much family has overburdened you. And also some of you guys, you're coming out of a, like, if you were in a commitment that did this to you, you're coming out of it, okay? But I don't really feel like you guys are too focused on this commitment if you were, because you're away from it already. You're just like freeing yourself from, uh, maybe you felt like you had to live a certain way or be a certain way because you were in this, but now that you freed yourself from it, you've been doing different things and it's been keeping you stuck because you have not really been trusting in the new paradigm that you're in, the new life cycle that you're in, because you're holding on to old ideologies and philosophies. So you're in a new relationship with a new person, but you're carrying on like you did with the ex who was abusive, okay? So you guys are expanding. This connection is expanding, okay? You can be who you are fully. Feel free to stretch out and, you know, like I'm falling back. Feel free to unwind and chill out. Feel free to open up and take action and be firm on things. Feel free. You know, you're being guided by a guardian angel to move forward, okay? To trust that there is a God with you or there's a goddess with you that's protecting you. That you can do whatever you want, okay? So Taurus, Virgo, I'm hearing Capricorn. I kept hearing Taurus and Virgo though, but Capricorn, you guys are done with the toxic cycle with this person. You're at your wit's end with this person or with the situation that you're asking about, okay? You guys are stepping into your power and loving yourself fully, all right? You guys are taking your your power back, okay? And doing what you what you choose to do and it entirely. You're absolutely overrun and done with being bullied, pushed aside, set apart, um, set aside, put on the shelf, held back, abused, chastised. You guys are standing up for yourself. And because you're standing up for yourself and protecting yourself, you're having happiness, agreements, and also finances. You might have a new business idea, or you might have new clients, new possibilities that's coming to you outside of love, right? But you might also have a new love suitor. Some of you guys, you already have a love suitor. You have new love suitors that respect you and that will respect you. If they don't already respect you, it's because they will. You know, I just want to adjust that. So what do you guys feel so defeated about? And it's you guys feel really defeated because um, there are some there's people doing projections on you. You know, you guys have taken on a lot of burden and stress from the outside world, a lot of feeling bad for others when you shouldn't have to, a lot of responsibility for things that are none of your responsibility, and you're not realizing something about yourself and how you take on the responsibility of others. Okay, and that's something that your inner child wants to be free from, so that you can go towards your wish fulfillment. But whoever these things are that's making you feel like you, you're tied to them, those are the people and those are the situations that are bringing you a lack of victory, okay? And they're also holding back your victory, okay? Because you're not able to work towards you're not able to put the effort in, you're not able to trust in it because it's not only do they take your time, but they take your faith. All they do is fill you with lies and tell you stuff that's not really true, you chatter, you know? You know, that they're bringing up your, your deepest, darkest fears and stuff. These people here, they don't have, they're not mentally well, okay? These are, some of these people are psychopaths that just get on, I'm here, get online. All right, come on. <laughs> you gotta just relax and stay in your power. Like, come on, baby. A lot of you guys, you, you guys have not been accepting that you've been feeling paranoid because you know the truth of something, the truth of the matter in something. That's what's making you paranoid, all right? And it's either about someone in your life in particular that is very ungrounded, that is very money hungry, that is very deceptive, okay? That refuses to change. Someone who is also very two-faced, it might have been amassed. You might be feeling it, but not believing that it's true, and it's true. Get an earth sign. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, another one. A Gemini, okay, some of you guys. That's a liar, okay? That has bad intentions for you. A Gemini that's not wishing you well, all right? Doing black magic on you, Capricorn. Some of you guys know a Gemini that's doing black magic on you, all right? It's a Gemini from your past that doesn't like you, all right? And she's trying to make you feel bad about yourself and to make you to split up your family, 
to make you give up on your dreams. All right, you guys, you're, you're, you just need to withdraw from all sources. Okay, withdraw. So for your person, person who you're asking about this week, you know, this person is not coming towards you. They might come in and out. They might have a player energy. They're not really serious about you this week. Okay, This person is going is going through a transformation they don't, they're not aware of. A lot of things are going wrong in their life. They might have had somebody die in their life as well. Okay. But this person is going through a lot of changes that is unforeseen. They don't really want. And it's making them look inside of themselves and ask themselves what they really want. So they're not coming towards you because they, they're they they're either trying to hold on too tightly to things or they're really trying to let go of things that's really hard for them. But this connection seriously needs healing. It needs time. It needs patience. And that's the truth of the matter. That's why, you know, you having you have an offer in front of your face. You're being offered something. Okay. Some of you guys, it's a chance to move in together or just move. For your job and this is going to heal your connection this will actually bring in a, a commitment okay some of you guys this person might need to move some of you guys might want to move that's being guided to you by your spirit guides because this will bring you healing in your connection okay and you will find victory in whatever this connection is very quickly actually like moving will actually lift the energy you guys are just in a place where it's sedentary you feel heavy it's dark there's a lot of evil intentions a lot of people might not wish you very well, you know. Mm -hmm. So they try to hold you back, they make this person nervous. So this person isn't coming towards you because they're realizing the reason why is because they're worried and they're realizing that they can't live their life in worry. So this is actually gonna turn around for the best, but they're just realizing that it's because they're worried, okay? And they're surrendering to their happiness and how you know, being paranoid is, is exactly what those people wanted. That's what I'm hearing. Like those people wanted you guys to be paranoid of each other, to separate from each other. And that's the healing. Like you've been trying to, I feel like so many ways spirits are trying to give you this guidance, give you this message through so many different means. And you weren't understanding it, but now you're finally going to understand it. Okay. So this person, what they're doing now is they're having a lot of passion for you. They might be reaching out to you, traveling towards you. Um, coming out of and confronting abandonment wounds that separated them from you. You know, healing self-worth, feeling more worthy for you or feeling more worthy of you, more worthy of love. Okay. You guys are refusing to heal something from the past. And I feel like a lot of you guys felt like something that was happening in your life you felt like if you just changed, it wouldn't happen. But in reality, it was happening because that was what the universe was showing you about certain people or about the place you were at, about the community you were in. You might have thought that it was you, but in reality, it was just these people. Like some of you guys, um, you know, I'm feeling like something is getting. We're going to do this in the karmic reading, though. The karmic reading is inside. But I'm feeling like something is getting ready to go down for karmics in a way that's really major. Societal, country, I'm feeling it. Okay? And um, it's a lot of these people, are, these are the karmics that split up your connection and made you made this person feel, especially it was these people who made this person feel like they couldn't come towards you. This person, they don't feel good enough to have you. You know? Like they want to take action. Some of them really want to take action to you, but they're they feel defeated. They feel like you will not respond the way that they want. They're worried a lot about things that don't really matter. You know, this person might also be married and have responsibilities and stuff. But they, if they're married, they don't want to be married, and that's a fact. Okay, whoever this person is, if they're married. They don't like their person. They don't like the person that they're married to. 
their mirror. So this person, they won't, they will not be making you an offer, okay? Because they don't see the, the way to do it, okay? They don't, they, but they, but they do understand. They understand that they have to. They understand how they wronged you. They understand how they made you sad. This person might have also introduced a third party, and they're having a hard time healing from this because something happened to them. They're not opening up to you about. This person might have contracted an illness. Okay, a very serious disease. This person might also have cancer. By going, because they went off path, you know, but also, you know, they have cancer. And they don't have any more time now to, to live this life with you that they promised you, you know? And now this person is realizing that, they, that it's because they were so indecisive. But they also want to release the regret and the sadness. Perhaps even releasing this regret will heal them of this cancer. But this person is very depressed. If they're, whatever they're sick with is because that's how depressed and down in the dumps they are. Okay? So, you know, this connection will not be brought to justice this week. Okay? It will not. You guys are going to feel emotionally disconnected from each other. And you guys will not be reconciling. If you guys are separate, you guys will not be reconciling. Okay? And it's because there might not be any energy, there may not be an, an opportunity, or there's an opportunity that someone else is not taking. Maybe someone is taking an opportunity and the other person is not. Someone is seeing an opportunity and the other person is not. Okay, trust in the unknown. All will unfold in time, okay? And and take action the way you're guided, the way you feel guided. All right, you guys. I want to go to the extended, but my laptop is dying, and I still want to do readings outside. So, um, you know, maybe the extended will come out later, or maybe I won't do an extended. But so much love to you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, if you're interested in the extended, the link would be down below. Okay? I'll see you guys later. Bye, Capricorn.